give all the honor and all the glory to God. He is just awesome. Just ask God to allow Mary to decrease that he may increase in my life. That he gets the glory through me. And, uh, my testimony is run, Mary, and run. I was involved in drugs and alcohol for over 20 years. Um, homosexuality started with me with the word curse. Um, my mother said I should have been a boy. Um, you look like a boy. So I bought that lie, you know, um, that word curse. I should have been a boy, look like a boy. And uh, told the female that I was attracted to women. And uh, I can remember this just like it was only yesterday. And this is an older lady. Uh, told her about me being attracted to women. And the lady kissed me. And it was as if a demonic spirit had just transfused through my whole body. It made me feel drunk. And that's what happened. That was the whole thing that started it. And then I moved to Atlanta shortly after I had gotten out of high school and found a group of people that accepted me in a lifestyle of homosexuality. And the gay lifestyle, it's, it's a whole community. You know, they just accept, they've got their own everything, you know. And they just accept you right where you are. So I went to Atlanta, got caught up into cocaine and, and drugs and alcohol, went in the clubs at 10 a.m. I came out at 10 p.m. Seven days a week. Um, I was pretty much messed up. Uh, let me backtrack a little bit too, as well. Uh, when I was in high school, younger younger years, fifth grade, um, I was pronounced with dyslexia, so my self-image was already damaged very much. And uh, that was in sixth grade. I was put into slow classes, so I battled with rejection and not knowing my true identity, who I was in Christ at all. So I was pretty much messed up. So when I started to by myself being displacing. Um, the female made me feel like I was hold. You know, I bought that lie, which was a lie. That you're not supposed to be with a female. That's not who God has created you and designed you to be. He's created a man to be with a woman and a woman to be with a man. And I stand before you today to tell you that God has supernaturally delivered me out of homosexuality and drugs and alcohol. And I say supernaturally, this doesn't happen. I'm afraid. I cried all the time. I prayed and I cried. But the thing about Miriam was, I kept talking to God. I said, God, this is not Miriam. This is not who you designed me to be. I prayed and I cried and I had a Jack and Coke right here. And I had a plate of cocaine and I would do another line of cocaine. And I said, God, I cannot do this myself. You've got to help me. And I would read another scripture and I would turn to Psalms 91 and I would say, Father, you have created in Miriam a clean heart and renewed in Miriam a right spirit. And then I would turn over to Romans 12, 1 and 2. I said, Father, I'm presenting my body back to you, God. And I would go to Romans 